Hi, welcome back to another video. I'm Victor Garcia, your CS tutor, and today we're going to be calling some methods. Now, what is a method? A method is just a block of code that you call and it runs it. Uh, I like to think of it as a robot assistant. Let's say I'm just doing my homework in my room and I also have to, my room is kind of messy, I have to clean it. I could program this robot here with some a set of instructions to clean my room. And all I have to do is call it. So it's, I give it the signal and it starts cleaning my room. Now that's pretty, pretty easy, pretty uh, simple. But let's say uh, I want a drink. I want something in return. I don't want just a task to be done. Uh, we have another robot that I program to bring me my favorite soda, which is Coca-Cola. So I call this one and it goes and fetches the Coca-Cola and it comes, brings it, uh, comes and brings it to me. Now, what's the difference between these two robots? Well, one of them is giving me something and one of them is just doing a task that I told it to do. These are two very uh, important and distinct uh, types of methods. This one is called a void method. And this one is a non-void method. Non-void. What is void? Void is exactly what sounds like. It's nothing. There's no exchange of information. It's just doing uh, the task and it's not bringing me anything. Non-void is the opposite. It's actually bringing me something. It's giving me information, it's giving me data, the stuff that I need. For in this example, it's just giving me Coke. These are very uh, useful in coding because not all the time uh, you want something to be uh, brought to you. You just want something done. Let's say in your console, you just want something to be printed out multiple times. You do void, but let's say you want something in return. Let's say a, a value or a string, uh, you do non-void. But let's say I want to program this robot to not just fetch me my Coke. Let's say people come over and they like Pepsi or they like uh, apple juice, uh, whatever. I can make it so this robot would ask the user what kind of soda they want. And let's say he asked my friend and my friend likes Pepsi. It tells the robot, okay, I want Pepsi. So it's going to look around, it's going to skip over the Coke, and it's going to grab uh, the Pepsi bottle. So it's not going to grab the Coke, it's going to be Pepsi that it brings me. What did I give it? I just gave it a parameter. Parameter are stuff that you give your methods to specify or to be, uh, you give it more information for it to complete its function. Let's say for my cleaning robot, I have an, a big house and there's multiple rooms and not every room is messy or not every room needs to be clean. So this robot c can ask you, or once you call it, it can ask you, which room do you want to be cleaned? And I could say, oh, clean my bedroom. With that piece of information, it's going to go to my bedroom and it's going to clean it and not touch any other room. That's the important thing about parameters. So you can have a non-void function with parameters, a void function parameters, and uh, the only difference is the type of stuff they return and the type of stuff they do. Uh, so here we have my code in the main, and uh, we're not using any of our robots uh, because we're just doing this manually. As you can see, we're cleaning our bedroom, kitchen, our bathroom, and as a coder looking at this, it's uh, repeated code over and over uh, three times. Let's run it and see what we get. As you can see, we cleaned our bedroom, our kitchen, and our bathroom. And very simple stuff. It printed out exactly how you want it to. Now let's see how we can simplify this and make our code reusable instead of wasteful. Let's go back to our code. Okay. Here we are, our empty main, and we are going to try to reproduce the same code or the same output with less code. We're going to do that by using our little robot over here that cleans rooms, and we're going to have it use a parameter, and that parameter is going to be a string, and it's going to depend 
um, the room that we give it. So let's say we give it a string called bedroom, it's going to go clean our bedroom. If we give it a string called kitchen, it's going to clean our kitchen. And we're going to use void because we don't want it to return anything to us. We just want it to do a task and it's done. So let's see. We're doing system.out.println. LN means every time it prints to the console, it creates a new line. So it's printing out, I am a robot, beep boop, adorable. And then it's going to do cleaning. After that, it's going to output the room that we cleaned. So we're just going to take our parameter here and we're going to print it out. And then it's just going to be, after that, we're going to print out it's done. And then hopefully we just have to call it and it should work. So here we are calling our method. The way you call a method is you just put the name of the method and then you put your parameters in the little parentheses. And this is for a void method. So we're not getting anything back. So we can just call it like it is. So we're going to send in bedroom, bathroom, and then kitchen. And then all we have to do is run it and let's check the output. So as you can see, it cleaned our bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, and it did the same thing as we did with our previous code, but with less lines of code and way easier to read. You could just look at the name of the method and know exactly what it does. Hopefully this taught you a lot more about methods and you have a more intuitive sense on what they do and how they work. I'm Victor Garcia, your CS tutor, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.